My name is Lauren Brown and I live in Inuvik Northwest Territories. We're about 250 kilometers above the Arctic Circle and this is an extreme environment. A lot of people think that the people that live in Inuvik are crazy and maybe they're right, I don't know. I just love being out in the wilderness, out on the land, the northern lights. It's a fantastic place to be. The challenge I rode to Ford was to drive a fully loaded 2015 F-150 from Fairbanks, Alaska, across the Dempster Highway, 750 kilometers of gravel road to Inuvik in the Northwest Territories. Four mountain ranges and everything that the terrain has to throw at that truck. Those guys down in Detroit, they don't know what this is about. If I was them, I'd be a little bit nervous right now. Once a year, I make this trip to Fairbanks for supplies. We've got uh, a short window. You've got to get in, get your supplies, get out. I don't think your average person would buy a sack of cereal, but we sure do. We've got everything on the trailer, from wood splitters to food for months and months. Got a big welder, lots of lumber, lots and lots of cement back here. What I wouldn't normally do is have this much weight in the bed. It's going to put this truck to the ultimate test. Everything that you want, max payload in the truck, max payload on the trailer, the suspension of the truck, the hauling capacity, everything. So for us, this is a highway. For most people, this is a small country road. It's quite a drop off, no guardrail. If you go down over there, you're in trouble. Not only are you in trouble, you might never be found. We've got a max load on here, both payload and in the trailer. This is far and above what most people will do with the truck. So this is my truck. It's a 2010 F-150 with a 5.4 liter V8. Ford thinks a V6 can replace this. I'm skeptical that a V6 can provide the performance that I need. Let's see what it does. So we're halfway gone from Fairbanks, across the ferry here on the Yukon River. We're in Dawson City. Those turbos coming up the hill, really moved this truck along. Impressive machine. Obviously one of the most important parts of going to an aluminum body and a high strength steel frame to take weight out and still provide the capability for customers. How much weight has the truck dropped with those panels? Up to 700 pounds. 700 more pounds you can haul with this truck. Will I be the first person to drive this 2015 F-150 north of the Arctic Circle? You may have me there. All about being first. So here at the Arctic Circle, you can see there certainly aren't a lot of trees. 1,150 kilometers of this challenge done. We've got 300 to go. Today alone, we've seen four bears, a sow and a cub. That was real neat. Now, there is risk. People die in the highway. You've got to have everything you need. You've got to be self-sufficient. The suspension is working hard right now over the potholes and these ruts and washboards. And it's keeping those wheels on the road. We're in a new victory. The end of the road, the end of the challenge. We crossed mountain ranges, rainstorms, mud, ruts, potholes, dust. That 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine, just phenomenal power. You hardly feel the trailer behind you. None of the four mountain ranges has been a problem to haul this trailer and everything on it. Max payload in the truck, max payload on the trailer. Never have thought that this V6 could perform this well. This truck has exceeded my expectations.